you wondering what to study before nursing school, you don't want to waste all of the precious time doing nothing, right? But you also don't want to waste your time studying the wrong things, right? Now, unfortunately, so many nursing students end up doing all the wrong things to get ready for nursing school, and it ends up backfiring a lot when they start school because here's the unfortunate reality. Reading all of your textbooks before nursing school is not going to help you. It will actually hurt you, and I will tell you why in a minute and what you should focus on instead. So stick around until the end of the video because if you follow these tips, my friend, you might just save your grade. Hello, hello, my friend. My name is Christina Rafano, and I am the creator of The Nursing School Show, where we walk you through how to pass nursing school step by step. Now hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, and let's dive in. So most nursing students think they need to read everything in their textbooks before starting nursing school, right? Have you thought this before? I know I did. <laughs> I literally tried to read several chapters in the textbook before starting nursing school, and all it did was make me more confused about everything, and half of it wasn't even on the exam anyway. So at best, it was a waste of time, but here's the kicker. At worst, it will actually hurt your grade because you'll be spending so much time reading just for the sake of reading that you're not spending time on the things that will actually matter to your grade. And if you've been around here for a while, you know what I'm going to say. Dose calc. Seriously, you knew what I was going to say, right? <laughs> Tell me in the comments if you saw that coming. I have talked about it a gazillion times. Here, 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 here. I'm just gonna put up all the videos that we've talked about dose calc in the past in the description. I'll put them all there for you so you can check them out later if you want. But the point is dose calc is super important in nursing school. Did you know that within the first two weeks of your term in nursing school, you are going to have a math test? It's called the dose calc exam or the dosage calculations exam. Some schools call it med math exam. And yes, it's a math test. This is where they test you on how well you calculate medication doses to give to your patient. So. Obviously, it's super important because you want to give medication safely, of course. But also, most schools require you to get 100% on this exam, and I am not kidding. Maybe your school is nicer than most and they allow you to only get 90% on the dose calc exam, but don't count on it. Practice as if you need a 100% on it, because if you don't pass this exam, you won't be able to continue in your nursing program. Now, before you stop this video and have a total freak out moment, there's two reasons why you shouldn't freak out about this. Okay, you ready? Number one, the vast majority of nursing students pass this exam. Most nursing schools allow for retakes, so most likely you'll get multiple chances to pass the dose calc exam. And number two, you have me and this video where I walk you through how to pass the dose calc exam with flying colors the first time, so check it out. You will also want to check out our dose calc nursing school box that has a full workbook for you, flashcards, and other goodies for you to help you become a master at dose calc. Now the link is down below for you to check that out. And really, dose calc is all about the practice. The more practice you get answering dose calc questions, the more confident you are going to become and you'll do great. Just follow our six step process, do the practice questions in the workbook from the dose calc box, do any practice questions that your school gives you and just practice practice, practice. The more you practice, the more confident you will get and you will pass, my friend. Now, after you do that, and only after you do that and you know dose calc inside and out, you can move on to the next thing that you may want to consider studying before you start nursing school, and that is the nursing process. So like we said before, don't go read a thousand chapters in your textbooks. That is not going to help you. 
you. Focus on reading and studying uh, on what actually matters. And hands down, the first thing you're going to learn in nursing school, well, besides dose calc, is the nursing process. So once you have dose calc down and you're confident in it, you can start learning about what the nursing process is and how to use it and how it works. I break it down really simple for you here in this video, so be sure to check that out. But like I said, only after you have mastered dose calc. Okay, promise. Promise me, okay? Now, here's where you might get stuck. You might be learning about the nursing process and come across this little phrase called critical thinking or thinking like a nurse. Nursing students tell me all the time, Christina, <laughs> I am taking nursing fundamentals and I don't know how to critically think or think like a nurse. And all I say is, yeah, of course you don't. You just started nursing school, my friend. You are not expected to know how to critically think right away. It's okay. It's not like you go out to your mailbox one day, open that acceptance letter to nursing school, and suddenly you get showered with critical thinking fairy dust. Although really, how cool would that be, right? So, as you go through the nursing process, do not beat yourself up that you don't know how all of these puzzle pieces fit together yet. That's okay. You're not expected to know how to critically think now. It will come in time. Just focus on learning what the nursing process is and the basics for it. That's your goal right now. But again, only after you've mastered dose calc. I'm sure you're gonna get tired of me saying that. Now, remember, you promised me though. Now, there are three ways that I can help you more through nursing school. Number one, download this free cheat sheet that walks you through the step-by-step -step process for, of course, acing your dose calc exam. So don't miss that one. And be sure to check out our nursing school dose calc box that we have available for you. It is packed with resources to help you secure succeed in nursing school on your dose calc exam. And of course, if you want me to hold your hand throughout your nursing school journey, I am totally here for it. Don't miss out on joining the Nursing SOS membership community. It's filled with step-by-step -step nursing lectures to help you understand everything you need to know for nursing school faster, so you'll be more prepared for your exam. Now, the links to all of those things are down below in the description. I'll put them all there for you to check out. And if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below to let me know that you loved it. I love hearing from you. Share it with your friends that are also getting ready for nursing school or in nursing school. And of course, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll see you next time on the nursing school show. Take care, friend. Bye-bye.